To enable cut and paste in OS X's Finder, we're going to need to go to Library, Services, go to lifehacker.com and download our tool workflows and drag them right into the Services folder. After you've done so, you'll see that they show up if you go into the Finder in the menu bar and go to the Services menu. But we'd like to enable some keyboard shortcuts, so open up System Preferences, hit the Keyboard button, and go to the Keyboard Shortcuts tab. To add a new keyboard shortcut, hit the plus sign at the bottom of the window. We're going to want the application to be Finder, and our menu title is going to be Cut File, because that's the name of our service. The keyboard shortcut can be anything you want. I prefer Command-Shift-X, because it's close to the traditional cut shortcut. Hit the plus sign again and do the same thing for the Paste File service. Uh, this time I used Command-Shift-V for the shortcut, but you can use anything you want. There, exit out of that. The last thing you need to do is uh, open up a new terminal window. Type in mkdir slash cut temp for our temporary folder. It works for us behind the scenes. Quit terminal, and now you'll see if you click on a file and hit your keyboard shortcut of choice, go into a different folder and hit your paste keyboard shortcut, the file will appear in the folder. And uh, we can see that it's no longer on the desktop if we drag this around. So it was successfully cut and pasted.